Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Before I go into this video, I want to say a couple things. Number one, I'm going to be posting videos, but not as often as I used to. Reason for this is because I'm not even home, so I don't even have access to my computer. So I can't really edit my videos, nor do other things. That's why some stuff will seem dumb, weird, and whatever. Um, also, another thing is I have recently added members, so if you guys want to join, you guys can. You guys get exclusive Discord servers and different stuff. Uh, revolving around that you guys can check more into that if you just press the join button and check it out um, without further ado let's get into the video and uh, yeah play the intro alright so today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys three commands you guys should have in your world now these are really important commands I personally to me and um, yeah, so these are the set home, home, and fly. Now these are mainly for faction servers, maybe some other cool things. Um, but I do recommending having these. Now if you guys want a part two to this, so slash feed, slash mute, slash ban, um, slash shield, all that stuff, then make sure you guys do like this video. If we get this video to 30 likes, I will post a part two uh, about this. So I'm gonna go over this as quick as I can. Uh, so the first one is the slash set home. It's actually quite simple. Um, all you have to do is drop it wherever you want to set your home. I'm going to drop it right here. It'll say spawn point set. Once you've done that, cool, your spawn point's been set at this block. Now if I do slash home, I will end up dying. But no worries, I still have all my gear. No durability is taking. My totem is still here. I have my gold sword and whatnot. Uh, that's the first slash the home and home command. Now, this will not mess with anything you have, nor if it's in your offhand or in your armor slot. Uh, this might mess up the ki uh, death kills or um, deaths, but to me, it's the personal, it's personally easily to do. Now, this next one is the slash fly. You see, I'm double tapping and I cannot fly. All I have to do is drop it. It will say flying has been granted to you. And I can fly in survival mode, and I will always have fly now. You can make it where they disable it when you leave spawn. You can do what you want there, but uh, pretty cool because now I can fly around. And uh, yeah, let's get into the commands. The first one is going to be the slash fly. It's actually the easiest one of everything here. So this is the slash fly. So you have these three uh, or these four command blocks. So this first one is always going to be always active, unconditional, and non repeat execute on first uh, tick and delaying ticks are going to be zero and this is all you're typing in for the first command test for add entity type equals item name equals fly you can change that to whatever you want but I just did slash fly now this one is the same thing uh, but instead of test for it's going to be execute uh, the three tildes slash ability at P may fly true this will make it so whoever's closest to the slash fly command will be able to fly and this one is the same thing with the three tildes slash title at p action bar flying has been granted to you if you want you can change it to whatever you want and then this fourth one is just killing the item if you have this item if you don't really kill the item it will pretty much just be there forever and ever and yeah not the best idea so make sure you kill the item now moving on to the slash set home it's only going to require three command blocks this one being on always active unconditional on repeat execute on first tick and zero in delays this one's going to be execute at entity type equals item name equals slash set home the three tildes spawn point at p and then another three tildes this one is going to be the same thing but title at p title spawn point set this one's going to be oh wait this one's going to be chain unconditional always active this one's going to be chain conditional always active zero in delay and this one's going to be unconditional, always active. It doesn't really matter, but I always keep it unconditional. Then it's going to kill the item. And that's for the slash at home command. So, there you guys go. Now, this one is how you guys create the slash home. So, it's a little bit more, but uh, again, only requiring two impulse, four chain. Right, these are impulse, aren't they? No, these are chain. And po um, regular command blocks and then one repeating so this one's going to be always active unconditional repeating execute on first uh, tick and zero in delays and that's the command for the first one 
execute add entity type equals item name equals slash at home um, and then three tildes effect at p speed zero zero you don't have to have the effect at p speed zero zero but you have to have something there so you could actually probably shorten this up i just didn't shorten it up because i actually already had this finished uh this one's just putting the game rule combinatory true and this one is making it so it's killing the uh, person also conditional always active zero on ticks this one's going to be zero on ticks always active conditional chain this one's killing the slash home again here are all the delaying ticks and whatnot and then this one is setting this block right here to redstone and i'll get to what this one is in a second so now these two are quite simple this one's just turning keep inventory back to uh false and this one is just then setting this back to air that was a quick little video tutorial for you guys. I should be releasing a particle video, video quite soon. Uh, make sure again, let's hit 30 likes on this video. If you guys are new, make sure you guys do subscribe. Not only that, but um, if you guys want more videos in general, make sure you guys do subscribe. Literally over 70% of people that watch my videos, no, I think 95% of people that watch my videos are not subscribed. So if you guys just subscribe, you don't even have to have notifications on. If you guys aren't feeling uh, satisfied, you can obviously just unsubscribe. But thank you guys for watching this video, and I will talk to you guys next one. Peace out.